<laughs> Moving on now, when you drop your litter into the recycling bin, where does it actually go? Well, we went to the state with the best recycling record in the country to find out. Being a humble bottle or can in South Australia offers you all kinds of opportunities. Lifestyle changes, if you will. This could wind up as a car accessory, end of a garden hose, part of a footpath, or sometimes you can come back just as you were. It's why South Australians are the best recyclers in the country. The amount of energy that was saved just in South Australia alone from our recycling activities last year, that would be enough to power 500,000 homes for a year. For decades here, households have been able to claim money back on their bottles. That entrepreneurial spirit has been adopted by big businesses, encouraged by incentives. A lot of people have now found out you can make actually quite a good business by recycling. Uh, for example, recycling not only metals and glass, but many more things. Uh, for example, plastics, uh, paper, cardboard. But when this goes into this, what actually happens? Cans, bottles and all manner of recyclable materials are brought here to be sorted. This team gets through 64,000 tonnes of waste a year, but not all of it should be here. This will definitely go to landfill because it's contaminated. You can see from here, there's just too much food stuff and contaminants in this bottle. Can't recycle it. These food cans, however, will definitely get a second life. This holds 250 cans, it's 15 kilo weight mass. This will be crushed again and recycled into other parts, very similar to what's behind me. Australia creates more waste per person than almost any other country, yet we're still some way behind the world's leading cities when it comes to recycling. Landfill has stopped in Yokohama and in Munich. There is no more landfill. Everything is getting recycled, recovered uh, in some way uh, using legislation and the latest cutting-edge technology. Recovery here starts with a huge sieve, sorting out big things from little things. Then it's down to these guys. What we're doing here at this site is done manually. So they're getting their hands dirty and what you see behind me is the very evidence of that. And things can get messy. It is a dirty job, but it doesn't have to be as dirty as it is. If people helped us out by doing the right thing, it would make our jobs a lot easier. South Australia recycles more than two thirds of all of its waste material. But as a nation, more than half the stuff we throw out will end up in landfill. We have to talk about 80%, 90% recycling rates and much better systems in terms of resource recovery to avoid the depletion of materials and also the loss of those resources in landfill. That's terrible. I never knew you actually had to wash out your sauce bottles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good lesson I learned there. That's a great story on recycling.